So this is the self-development with tactics. Book. So today we're once again going to go through some Reddit subreddits. So it's going to be the life pro tips subreddit and it's probably also going to be the cool guides. Of <laughs> All these amazing names uh, subreddits, but very big, but um, it's going to be amazing and it's itching me. I don't know why, uh, because I've actually seen that there's some cool things. First of all, life pro tip. Mosquito bites won't itch if you put olive oil on it. And get a paper towel or a napkin, put a solid dab of olive oil on it and rub it on the bite and give it one to two minutes and it will stop itching. The question is why? I know because of the fat, because of some other thing that is in olive oil, um, but only in olive oil, so therefore just some other oils are not gonna work. Who knows? To stop yourself from mindless snacking or eating out of boredom, try drinking a glass of water first. Yes. And it is something that I've seen uh, with myself. I just don't drink anything. I could just drink nothing the whole day long. I could because I don't feel the urge of just drinking anything. Um, and yeah, another thing is people say like, well, yeah, you should uh, drink this amount and that amount and whatnot. But but I don't know. I don't know. Of course, if you feel bad the next day or if you feel bad just um, immediately, then yeah, please drink more. But But yeah, anyway, coming back to this point, I think it is definitely the case because... Often we just feel like we're hungry, but we're actually thirsty, apparently. I always think like, well, I just, I just, I think that I know what's going on with me, but, but apparently uh, not necessarily. A study show people tend to eat not hydrate in situations when, where they are just thirsty. Yeah. The body has trouble differentiating between mild hunger and dehydration due to the subtle uh, subtlety of the symptoms. Staying hydrated has other benefits beyond preventing snacking, excess calories, such as uh, as, what assisting digestion or reducing bloating. The water in your stomach may also communicate to your brain a greater feeling of fulfillment and reduce your cravings. However, the best and most obvious way to stop unnecessary snacking is to stop buying snacks you cannot resist eating. Yes, you know, coming back to habits, and we've been talking about habits for just uh, long, the best way to just prevent the habit to happen is to prevent it um, to happen. <laughs> I'm very sorry for this fucking bad. <laughs> nice tip, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. No, but the thing is, um, yeah, just don't buy, don't buy the cookies. Uh, just don't have. I tend to eat, well, not eat, but chew chewing gum all the fucking time, and I shouldn't be doing that. And so what I do is I'm having it not on my fucking table in front of me, but I'm having it in some other. A drawer, uh, you know, and I just forget about it, you know, I just forget about things, for example, this thing, and so I don't then care, obviously, you know, I just, I'm then like, well, yeah, it is what it is, it is what it is, but yeah, anyway, uh, to avoid a hangover, stop drinking alcohol one to two hours before sleep and drink two glasses of water, if you stop drinking a couple hours before going to bed and pound some water, it gives you or your body time to process the alcohol in your system and you will wake up with 5% of the hangover. Uh, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. If you're asked to create an account in order to continue browsing a website, hit F12 and click on the dime area. This would select what? This would select it and you can delete it with the delete key. Hit F12 again and resume your browsing. This only affects the display on your browser, but it's a simple way to bypass the infuriating create an account or uh, get the fuck off situation on shitty websites when you just need the quick when you just need quick info. Yeah, indeed. Or you just do a right click. I can actually show you and then inspect element, and then something is gonna happen, and then you can actually indeed yeah delete things if they are bothering you, which is actually quite a useful tip. Not gonna lie. You can't get overworked and sick of the thing you love and you're passionate about. It is okay to take time away from a hobby or a person, but it doesn't mean it's not something you still love. Yeah, totally the case. Totally that fucking case. It did actually, it, yeah, it did quite a, quite a lot of good to me. Um, the, uh, I think it's been two weeks ago or something when I've been on vacation and I, I have been pre-recording, yes, but just not caring about posts and not caring about whatever 
for a week, it can be quite amazing. It can be quite cool. I'm not going to lie. It's quite a cool thing. And uh, But yeah, still, 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 still. Yeah, you still love it. You know, you just don't have to just do the exact same thing over and all the fucking time. Thinking of your pets as pack uh, squad mates instead of possessions will make you subs- uh, subconsciously take better care of them. As people tend to neglect possessions but often will care for others more so uh, than themselves. Yes, indeed. Fucking the case. And it is a fucked up thing. You know, we can care about other people way fucking better than caring about our fucking selves. I just don't really get why, you know, why, why are we doing this, does this make sense, but yeah, it is what it is, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is, what's going on today, um, life pro tip, fold your clothes as soon as you take them out of the dryer, it only takes a bit longer, and if you don't get them put away, you're uh, they're not wrinkled, but you're more likely to put them away because they're folded. Yeah, just maybe because it's easier. Let's check out the cool guides. Cool guides. And I hope that there is actually some cool guides. The meaning of life. The meaning of life according to different philosophies. Or philosophers. This is an amazing thing. I heavily appreciate that. Fuck. Learn more, which is Platonism. Be good. Aristotelianism. Aristotelianism, uh, be self-sufficient, cynicism, have pleasure now, hedonism, free yourself from pain, uh, epicureanism, be logical and don't suffer, stoicism, well I don't know, be a good, be good is definitely also stoic, but anyway, defend individual liberty, classical liberalism, uh, do as you would have others do your duty kantianism do anything life has no meaning (laughs) nihilism bring the most goods to humans pragmatism follow god's will theism make decisions and be positive existentialism stop making sense of life just like just live absurdism act in self-interest and common good humanism life has no meaning until you give it one logical positivism and care for nature, natural patheism. I see, then we have something in Asia. Love people impartially. Mohism. Live in a ordinary, live an ordinary life. Confucianism. Learn practical things. Legalism. I appreciate that. Can I save it or something? I would love to save it somehow. Save. Great. I fucking love that. It's a cool guide. And this is why I go through cool guides. Because they are cool. Find people who want to chat. Bored at home? uh, Want someone to talk to? Red will match you with members who want to chat too. That's a cool thing. That's a cool thing. It's like Tinder, but just superpowers. A guide to all the superpowers. So apparently, object manipulation, force control, powers of the mind... Mastery, weapons-based, animal powers, powers of the body. I do wonder which person, who, there's actually a better guide. (laughs) A guide to all superpowers. Well, it is, and there is a better guide to all superpowers. Well, I don't know if it is better. Mastery, object manipulation. Well, it is kind of the same, but I like the other one a bit. Well, I like both of them. They both are designed really cool or really well. Well, the lines on a solo cup are actually measurements. Yes, beer, wine, liquor. Even though, like, you would, would you really just only have that amount of liquor? Like, I don't know. The tallest building on every continent. Let's have a look at the full one. Ah, pretty cool. Can I zoom in and see things? Yeah, okay. The five tallest buildings in Asia, uh, we have the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the Shanghai Tower, the uh, Maca Royal Clock Tower Hotel, the Golden Finance and the Ping An Finance Center. Then in North America, we have the World Trade Center, the Central Park Tower, the Willis Tower, the 
uh, 111 or 111 or 111 West uh, 57th Street and the what the Vanderbilt or something I don't know the tallest buildings in Europe in so Petersburg we have the uh, Lacta Center then the Federation Tower East Tower in once again Moscow Russia they all are in Russia <laughs> the South Tower o Oko South Tower then the Neva Tower and the Mercury City Tower all again in Moscow and in Russia in Oceania uh, we have the Gold Coast Q1 then Australian 108 uh, Oreka Tower the Crown Crown Sydney I, I'm sorry <laughs> the, uh, the Aurora Melbourne Central uh, well, yeah, I kind of have to go through it. South America, uh, South America, okay, strange things. South America, uh, Grand Tour Santiago, Yacht House Residence Club Towers One and Two, Alva Tower, Infinity Tower, and the Parak Central Complex East Tower. Uh, the first one is in Chile. Then Brazil, Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela. And then in Africa, the Leonardo, Carlton Center, uh, Britain, Britain Tower, uh, Point City Apartments, and the UAP Tower. Yeah, very interesting. Well, well, I do kind of, I do not want to just be an asshole. The first two are in South Africa, then in Kenya, then South Africa once again, and then once again in Kenya. And probably Johannesburg, yeah, in the same cities. Johannesburg and uh, the other one. Sofa Fort. Better than the real forts. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, for the podcast listeners, it's a, a guide, basically, um, to how to build an, an fort uh, or a castle out of uh, a sofa or couch or whatever. How to store products and keep it fresh. This is actually a pretty cool. Apples. Uh, conditions. You should actually keep them in the refrigerator. I do have to say, like, yeah. Um, fruit in the refrigerator do make sense from time to time. Um, but yeah. But ah, they, they, they actually say you should keep apples in the refrigerator all the time. But they're then really cold if you want to eat them, which is, you know, not everybody likes that. Then we have the mangoes, grapefruit, ginger. Is there something that's... Well, it's it's not that long, so anyway. My food bible that I recently started to visually represent what 100 calories looks like for a range of different foods. Though it might be useful here. If you're interested in following the journey, just let me know. I can link you my account. Let's have a look. So... If we think about, I guess it's tomatoes, it's a bunch of tomatoes, then, well, I don't know what all of this is. <laughs> then this seems to be like cookies and there are five of them. Watermelon, actually quite a lot. A few slices. Banana, one and a half. Some other um, pastry stuff, cookie thingy thing, five. One and a half apples. Half a bagel. Three, no. Three carrots, but they are fucking big as carrots because 100 grams of carrots are having 25 calories. So four times or 21 calories indeed, something like that. Then we have grapes there, I guess, a bunch of them. Well, actually two and a half bell peppers and this is probably going to be peanut butter or something, which is one spoon of peanut butter. So yeah, uh, what we can see is that when something is fatty, then it's having quite a lot of calories, period. Because fat is having more calories per gram than protein and carbs. A guide to the layers of the atmosphere around the Earth. No, I don't care. Basic backpacking guide. No, I don't care. This radiation, those charts. No, I don't care. Native American symbols. Well, I also don't care that much, even though... How am I supposed to sleep on an incline? Well, actually, it is a little bit of a strange guy because it's 
just tilted, you know, because it's inclined. But you should not sleep. But why? Huh? This doesn't make any sense. They say that you should that you should basically sleep parallel to the peak and to the uh, summit. Do you call it? Well, uh, or the, the base of the whole mountain. And not the other way around. So you should not be quite aligned. So, you know, if you just draw a line from the very top of the mountain to the bottom, you shouldn't uh, lie like this. You shouldn't be laying on the ground like this line. But it should be crossing this line, basically, if you just understand what I mean. But I don't know why. Like, anyway, why don't look more? Why don't look more comfortable? Blood flows away from your brain. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, actually, blood flows to your brain, and it also moves away from your brain. The whole thing about the heart, arteries, and veins—it's a thing. But the simple guide isn't about that. When I have slept on an incline using the first method, the majority of the time I, along with my gear, eventually end up in the same spot, which is the bottom or by the tent entrance. In the second screen, he's using the equipment which will eventually slide to the bottom if we are, use, if we are using figure one method as horizontal le leveling material for this bad roll. Uh, the way the tent is posi positioned in the bottom picture allows for the tent's wall to provide stability for your uh, horizontal positioning gear. Well, I see. Like, in the end, yeah, I can somehow understand it, but I think it is something that we have to try out each. Yeah, very important. How to do chest flies. Indeed, actually important if you're working on uh, Ouch Ometer Tattoo Chart. Face, just don't do it. <laughs> hand, it is super funny when hand tattoos become trendy since much of the area won't hold a tattoo in a way that stands looking nice. Unsurprisingly, the most painful part of the hand to get inked is the palm, best to avoid. Sternum, it has been described to me as like being cut open by a hot knife. Really? Hat, hat tattoos are not only painful but also jarring because you can't hear the process so... Acutely, I've been told that the noise is even worse than the sensation. I didn't think about that, but, of, but it makes sense. Um, ribage, uh, rib cage, I'm sorry, and stomach. Yes, rib cage and stomach tattoos hurt a lot, but the worst part is that the pain never really, what, never really lets up. In most cases, your body will give you some chemical assistance at some point to make it temporarily bearable, not on your ribs. But not only ribs, then inner thigh, butt cheeks. Booty tattoos may be discreet, but they are also very uncomfortable. No, the extra padding doesn't help. I thought, actually. So what is the best one? Hmm. Anyway, flower guides. Cosmos, mums, wildflower, pansies, tulpies. Curtains and drapes. Vegetable spe uh, steaming time. Asparagus, 5 to 10 minutes. Adishok, whole uh, 25 to 35 minutes. Actually, so long. Beats whole. 50. Well, yeah, that's not that interesting. Common essay directive words explained. Analyze. Assess. Compare. Contrast. Compare. Plus contrast. Guides to fragrance concentration. Ah! You know what? I always thought about that. I always thought, like, what is the difference between uh, a perfume and an eau de perfume? and an eau de dolette, and an eau de cologne, and uh, eau frage or something. The thing is, well, it also depends on just what it is, but they just explain the amount of hours it is lasting between these types. So you have the perfume, which is 20 to 30% concentrated, which makes up for eight hours, they say. Then the next step is the eau de perfume. So just perfume, then eau de perfume. 15 to 20 percent then you have the eau de toilette with 5 to 15 percent then you have the eau de cologne 2 to 4 percent and then you have the eau frage whatever you pronounce it 1 to 3 percent so not that much urine color chart if your urine matches the colors number one or three you are hydrated if your urine matches colors number you're dehydrated and need to drink more fluid. Like, yes, apparently it's been always the case and we've been always thinking about it, but somehow 
people say like no it's not that important but yeah uh the last one uh a guide to cars and what they are named for these guys actually all are really well de- well designed i just appreciate that 12 top 20 email marketing tips no herbs this is actually this is amazing cook smart guides to flavoring with fresh herbs i'm gonna save this bitch because it's amazing basil sweet and peppery bell peppers eggplants tomatoes zucchini especially zucchini uh, tomatoes chicken beef fish tofu pastos tomato sauces soups stews stir fries carries in a char counter what countertop for seven to ten days jives a milder onion potatoes asparagus onions leeks Ah, now I get it. <laughs> they produce. What produce? <laughs> then proteins uh, use in garnishes, dips, soups, or risotto, rice, protein, chicken, fish, eggs. Well, anyway, uh, cilantro, um, avocado, tomatoes, bell pepper, chicken, fish, sel- shellfish, lamb. Uh, and use it for salsa, guacamole, uh, I can't read it, soups and whatnot, dill, using for omelets, yogurt dish, lemongrass, mayoran, mint, oregano, oregano is definitely like, whatever you're just doing with tomatoes, tomato sauce, use oregano, it's just good, barsley, rosemary, sage, sage is, sage, sage is actually very good, because it is woody, as they say, Tarragon, thyme, yeah. How to store fresh herbs. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I wish you the best health of happiness and all the success and also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy basically means just being a nice person and being remembered as a nice person, which is a pretty cool thing. So yeah. Um, yeah, three other questions that I'm going to have you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change? And what is bothering you the most? These three questions. So hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a pretty fucking cool thing. Yeah. One other question that I'm having for you is, what could you particularly say that is really going to change somebody's life? Period. And that being said, I hope we're going to see you next time. Please stay healthy and safe. And bye-bye.